Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to run Epic Game Store games on your M1 Apple Silicon Mac via Crossover. So we're not going to be running the macOS versions, we're going to be running the Windows versions. And this is particularly useful if you want to play some Windows only games that are only available on the Epic Game Store, most particularly Rocket League. So Rocket League used to have a macOS port on Steam, but because only 0.3% of the Mac and Linux player base were actually playing the game, they decided to no longer update the macOS port. So you can still play Rocket League macOS port on Steam, if you did buy it before its transition to the Epic Game Store. However, if you want to play the current online multiplayer with the rest of the world, then you'll need to be playing the Windows version. So this is why we're quite interested in getting this particular game to run. It is possible to get this to run on Parallels. However, through Crossover, you'll get better performance because we'll have access to the full resources of the computer. So the credit for this fix really goes to Simone Garzieri. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And also another user called Nasid Gamer. I'm hoping that my video is going to help with some of the issues that I face when I tried to do this installation too. So one thing to be aware is that all of the steps I'm going to be covering today are going to be listed in the crossover article on Apple Gaming Wiki website. The instructions for Heroic are written out here. If anything changes in the future or there's a better way to do this, a particular article will get an update. So the first thing that we're going to need is a copy of Heroic Games Launcher. So this is an open source front end for the open source client Legendary and these act as a replacement for the Epic Game Launcher which will not function on crossover. So I'll leave a link to this in the description description. All we have to do is to go to the GitHub page for here and then we go down to releases. So ideally you'd pick the latest release. So for me it's 1.9.0 and if we scroll down to the bottom of this we'll get a list of assets that we can download. So we want the DMG which is kind of the Mac version of this software. So once Heroic 1.9.0 is downloaded we're just going to move it into the applications folder. So I'm going to open up my applications folder and then double click and it's saying here that we can't open this. Press cancel here and we go to system preferences and then security and privacy. And then we go to the general tab and then we'll have this uh, blocked application here, which we'll click to open anyway. Open again. I'm just gonna close these windows and minimize. So when you first launch Heroic Games Launcher, we're gonna need to get our login ID, the SID. So we need to click on this link it's going to prompt us to log in and once you've logged into your Epic Games account then we'll get our SID which we'll just copy from here and then we're going to paste it into the Heroic Launcher here. So I'm going to paste mine, you'll paste your own number here, I'm not going to reveal my number here. So once you've logged in you might get a two-factor authentication which will send an email code to your email address. However I've just logged into this already because I've logged in before on this device. Sometimes you'll get a blank screen on the Heroic Game Launcher. What you can do is click on the menu bar here. This one's uh, must be a kind of visual bug because it's much larger than all the other bar icons here but uh, you can just click reload at the top here and it will reload the page. What we can do is make sure that we're logged in and now we've got access to all of the games. So I've clicked on Rocket League and I've already downloaded this application so if you haven't already downloaded it just click download to download Rocket League onto your computer. So I'm going to minimize this now and now I'm going to open up Crossover. So the next thing we need to do is have a functioning copy of Crossover. So if you haven't already installed Crossover the latest version is 21 you can check a link in the description for a full video tutorial and get the most out of Windows gaming on your M1 Apple Silicon Mac. If you'd like to get a 25% discount, then please follow the link in the description. If you apply the promo code Apple Gaming Wiki, then you'll get a 25% discount. So once you've got Crossover open, what I'm going to do is to click on the bottom left of the screen and click New Bottle. This new bottle type is going to be Windows 7 64-bit. So I'm going to create this bottle and you can just call this anything. We're going to actually rename this to default later, but we, we can't actually create the bottle called default. We have to create a different bottle name and then we have to rename it default later. Later. So is, this is to do with hard-coded paths within Heroic. So I'm going to create this bottle now. So make sure it's Windows 7 64-bit. So now we have a bottle called Heroic and we need to install the dependencies into this now. So I'm going to click on install the Windows application and we're going to go through a list of dependencies. And these are all listed in the Apple Gaming Wiki article. So the first one is C++ 2010. We want the 64-bit version and we're going to select that, click continue. Make sure we select the heroic bottle and then press continue and then install. Just click agree here and install. And then finish. Click agree here, click install. And then finish. And done. And now we're going to do the next dependency. So I'm going to click install the Windows application again. So what we want is the XML parser 3.0. So I'm going to select that one, press continue, make sure that we select the heroic bottle, click install, next, agree, next, next, install, finish. Now I'm going to press done, I'm going to install the next dependency which is DirectX for modern games. 
So I'm going to select that, press continue, select the heroic bottle, press continue and install. Click yes. Agree, next, next. Then we click finish here and then done. Then the next dependency is core font. Click continue here, select the correct bottle and install. And click yes. Then we click done again. And then within heroic bottle, we'll control click on heroic, go to settings and then enable the DXVK backend for D3D11. So now that's done, what we want to do is to rename Heroic. So we're going to rename it to default. And like I mentioned earlier, this is due to a hard coded path. We can't name it default to begin with because of an error message, but it's going to be default from now on. So the next thing we need to do is to find the path of wine within crossover. So if I find the crossover application within the applications folder, then we control click on the application, click show package contents, and we go within contents itself, shared support, crossover, crossover hosted application, and then we've located wine here. So we need this path in order to point to where Heroic should look at the bottle's wine. So now I'm going to reload Heroic. I've done this already, but what you need to do is to go into settings, go into the wine settings here. And then if you have a path here, you need to delete it. And then what we need to do is to set a custom wine proton path. So I've done this here, but I'll just demonstrate how to do it again. Let's click the plus icon here, and then we get our path, which we already found. So I'm just gonna drag my wine file here and then it will pick up this folder location and I'll click choose. And then that's picked the wine file there. And then the wine version, by default, it will show this line default wine, but we need to select the new custom wine line here. And then this is going to affect our global settings. When we go into Rocket League itself, we should click on the cog here. And then we should just double check that within Rocket League itself, we do not have a wine prefix folder and that the wine version is the custom wine that we've already selected. So I'm click return here. So now we have wine pointed to the crossover and because of the the hard coded default path, it's going to pick up the settings from the default bottle. We also have no prefix too. And now when we press play, we can actually load up Rocket League. So I'd just like to talk a little bit about the quality settings that I'm using. We set the render quality at quality level and also render detail at quality level two and full screen anti-aliasing at medium, targeting 60 frames per second. And I've also tried it on the absolute lowest settings at the high performance settings too. And I don't think it makes that much difference. It's not that taxing on this MacBook Air 2020 with eight gigabytes of RAM. I'll say that we lose about 10 frames per second running at this high quality setting. However, I think that having this level of quality is an acceptable sacrifice for the amount of visual fidelity you're going to get. After all, if you turn down the settings too much, it makes it kind of hard to see where the ball is exactly and also, you know, getting some precise shots in. As you can see, this is running very nicely at 60 frames per second. Of course, when we get into an actual online match, for example, a 3v3, then it's going to tank the frame rate a little bit. But generally speaking, in a 3v3 at this quality setting, it's running about 40 to 50 frames per second, which I'd say it's very good. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Particular thanks to Simone Garzieri and also to Nasid Gamer. These two users have been absolutely invaluable in allowing me to create this video and provide this resource. I hope you found this video useful. It does bode well that we can actually install other Epic Game Store games. If you'd like to make a request for games to test out in the future, please leave a comment. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.